the trouble with the twins. Donald and Douglas, the Scottish twin engines, were finding life difficult. After Wilbur had gone home to his railway in Gloucestershire, the twins were busier than they had ever been before. Due to the summer holidays, their trains had become longer and heavier, and their spirits had dropped lower and lower. The fast controller saw this and quickly sized up the situation. Early one morning, he came to see the twins. I understand that you two are busy, and I haven't forgotten about my promise to bring in a new engine to help you. I believe I have found an engine that will make a fine addition to the railway. He is in need of some repair. With that being said, continued the fat controller, you two will have to cope alone for a little while until the engine is eligible for service. Yes, yes sir, sir, said the twins. Later that day, Douglas took a string of empty wagons to the quarry and collected a train of four wagons to take back to Tidmouth. All seemed well at first, but on his return journey he could feel a growing pain in one of his cylinders. Oh, that doesn't seem good, said Douglas. Ah well, I'm sure I can make it to Tidmouth. It's not far now. As the journey progressed, the pain in Douglas's cylinder became worse. The harder Douglas chuffed, the more pain he endured. gradually slowed down, until eventually he was at a crawl. I've got such a pain, he groaned as he slunk into the yard. Suddenly, there was a loud bang, and Douglas came to a stop, wishing steam in all directions. Oh, that hurt, cried Douglas. He had burst a cylinder and couldn't move another inch. The signalman telephoned for an engine and soon Edward arrived to help Douglas back to the shed. The fat controller was concerned. You will have to manage alone for a little while, the fat controller said to Donald. I understand it was difficult enough before, but you'll just have to do the best you can until Douglas is back in service. Yes, sir, replied Donald, but he was worried. <laughs> 